Hey guys, it's James and Aya, Emerald City Guitars. We're doing another pick of the day. Hope you guys had a great new year. And we're diving into some cool guitars right off the bat here. Here we have a 1964 Gibson ES330 with a non-original Bigsby and some non-original tuners. Everything else on this guitar is stock. This thing's really cool. Uh, it has a non-original case, and as I was digging through this non-original case, I found some original paperwork that came with this guitar when it was initially purchased. Uh, it also has the original tuners and the original bridge in the case as well. So there's that. The S330 is a fully hollow thin line guitar with two P90s here. This one has the original frets, as I said before, and the neck is, this is actually a really great era for necks coming from Gibson. It's not too tiny, not too fat. Fits in the palm of the hand just right. A couple things to note about this guitar. Obviously, the added Bigsby. It looks like it was added a long time ago, possibly even a factory Bigsby. There is a little bit of crack here on the top of the guitar where the jack is, which is, believe it or not, pretty common for these guitars. One of the big design flaws for these, uh, the 335s and the ES330s is that the input jack is on the top of the guitar. So you have your quarter inch coming right out of there, your instrument cable coming out of there. And you, you know, a lot of times people step on their cord and it'll rip the jack right out. So looks like there's just a tiny bit damaged, but push your finger on there. It looks like it's actually been addressed and there's no movement whatsoever. The pickups have a really great sound. They're really hot, especially the neck position, which is great. I love a, a good hot P90 neck pickup. Moving up the fingerboard here, the frets are in really good condition. They are the original frets. I would say I would actually give them an eight out of 10, which is surprising um, for how old this guitar is. Um, outside from you know the obvious replacements and this input jack having had some damage, the guitar is in really great shape and it plays awesome. So I'm just going to show you guys here in a second. I'm going to run this 330 through a 1970s trainer amp, which uh, the trainer amps were actually built in Canada. They're awesome amps. They're known for their bass amps more so than their guitar amps. Um, but this is a guitar amp. It's 25 watts, which is a perfect wattage, especially if you play you know, bigger stages even, smaller to bigger stages. This amp here has a great reverb sound and it's got great tremolo. The unique thing about this amp is it comes equipped with four eight inch speakers. You don't see that too often, but it, it adds up for a really unique sound. And this amp also is equipped with two EL84 power tubes. So a great amp, a great guitar, without wasting your time anymore, I'm gonna plug her in and show you what she sounds like. Thank you. 
All right, guys, there you have it. It's a 1964 Gibson ES330, ran through a 1970s trainer YGM4 Studio Mate. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.